How does the inaugural address perform in the season of opulence? Well, let's find out today, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, today, I want to talk to you guys about the Inaugural Address Legendary Pulse Rifle, and how it performs in Season 8, which is also the Season of Opulence for Destiny 2. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Shadow Keep giveaway for the month of July 2019, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and let me know what types of videos you guys want to see on the channel. Also, a link to the giveaway will be in the description box below. Okay, so I am not a PvP god at all, and the gameplay that you are watching is my very first Crucible match with the inaugural address. Prior to making this video, and this is my god honest truth, I have never, ever used the inaugural address in PvE or PvP. I never used it when I got it in Season 1 during the Leviathan Raid all the way up to Season 8. It has been sitting in my vault for the longest time. And I think the only weapon that I used from the raid outside of the raid was probably the Sins of the Past rocket launcher. I primarily like to use hand cannons, shotguns, and some pulse rifles like the recently um, released Outbreak Perfected, the Vigilance Wing in its time, and yes, the Red Drake's Claymore when it was a beast. Yes, I am a very proud owner of a Red Drake's Claymore, and I am not going to get into the whole broadsword issue. F*** the Red Drake's broadsword. Just kidding. Um, anyway, it's very rare for me to play something that is not in the meta, whether it be an armor or weapon, or even a pinnacle weapon. But about a week ago, week ago, week ago, <laughs> okay, let me stop. Um, about a week ago, I actually decided to change it up a little bit in the Crucible for once, and oh my god, was I astonished at the results that the inaugural address was putting out. But first, Let's get into the stats. According to DestinyTracker.com, the inaugural address has a magazine of 39, an RPM of 390, an impact of 29, a range of 49, a stability of 64 through 68, a reload speed of 46, and a handling of 47 through 65. As for its hidden stats, it has a zoom of 17, an inventory size of 49, an aim assist of 64, and a recoil direction of 79 through 89. As for its perks, for the barrels, we have polygonal rifling, fluted barrel, chambered compensator, outlaw, ambitious assassin, as well as kill clip. These are the actual perks that I use, and as you can see, mine is not even masterwork, but it is at 750 attack power. As you can see from the gameplay, this pulse rifle still destroys in PvP seven seasons later and as I said a few moments ago, I don't even have it masterworked yet. This weapon feels so good in your hands, and even though it only has an aim assist of 64, I feel that it actually has way more than that. When Outlaw and Kill Clip go off, this weapon is pure crispy. Some of the kills I got, I didn't even think that I was going to be able to get them. I mean, you can unalive an opponent with three trigger pulls or two and a half if Kill Clip is active. And when I say two and a half, that means on the third trigger pull, your opponent will go down halfway through the third burst. Why more players aren't even playing with this pulse rifle in PvP is just baffling to me. Oh wait, I know why. It's because you can get the same rolls on other pulse rifles like the Bygones or Blast Furnace. Only difference is that both of these weapons can actually have mods on them and the inaugural address can. But that doesn't mean that the inaugural address isn't a good choice either. If you have completed the Leviathan Raid, and most people have by now, then you could just upgrade the power on it by pulling one out of your vault or from your collections. Bygones and Blast Furnace, on the other hand, don't work like that, and you can't just pull them out from collections. You are pretty much at the mercy of RNG, and if you were like me, then the RNG gods hate you. Like, with a passion. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if the RNG gods love or hate you too. But if you haven't tried out the inaugural address in the Season of Opulence, then go ahead and give it a shot. You may be surprised on how much you may like it and how much fun you will have. I know I did. I was ecstatic every time I got a kill with this thing. And even though you can't hear me, I was running around excited. <laughs> And if you don't have an inaugural address, then go ahead and go into the Leviathan Raid and go get yourself one. 
because you will not be disappointed. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.